Alright, once again, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our English class. Before we proceed, let us acknowledge the presence of our English subject coordinator, teacher Christine Ancas Asadera, our guest for today. So at this point, let's start our session with a prayer. Okay, that's for our prayer. Next, let's now have the attendance check. Let me post this link in our chat pane for all children. For a while, still loading here. Right there. The link is already posted in our chat pane, children. That's for our attendance for today. Please access the link by means of clicking it, and it will lead you to our uh, attendance form for today. You have at least 30 seconds to accomplish it. And once you're done accomplishing our attendance link, please click raise hand. Thank you. All right, there are two. Please don't lower your hands, ha. just keep raising your hands. So that I would be able to determine the ones who had already accomplished that attendance form. Thank you very much. Alright, so far we are 42 in this session. So there are more than 20 who had already accomplished the attendance link. Just keep raising your hand, children, so that I would be able to determine the ones who had already accomplished the attendance link. Thank you, attendance form. Right, I guess majority were able to accomplish the attendance form. So I guess we could already proceed now with our VBA for today. Our vocabulary building activity. Agent for the day. Burn the midnight oil, meaning study all night. In Filipino, magsunog ng kilay or mag-aral ng mabuti in Filipino. Sentence, I'm not ready for the test tomorrow. I guess I will have to burn the midnight oil. That's our agent for the day. Burn the midnight oil. Vocabularies. Number one, enrich is a verb meaning to improve the quality of something Filipino pagyamanin. Second, convey is a verb meaning imply or mean or denote in Filipino mga hulugan. Third, unconscious. It is an adjective meaning unaware or senseless in Filipino walang malay. Sentence, you should avoid being unconscious with the traffic or street signs. They convey... Certain rules and regulations. Understanding their message can enrich your knowledge. So that's our VBA for today, children. At this point, I'll be giving at least one minute to construct your own sentence using any of these words. And if you're interested to share your sentence, just raise your hand. Okay? So the ones who are raising their hands are the ones who will be called later. So please lower now your hands if you will not share your sentence. But for those who will, be, who will share their sentences... Please raise your hand. Or perhaps I could lower all your hands. Will, will that be okay? So 
I guess one Miguel, Jinky, and Simon. Ano yung... Okay. Jinky, do you want to share your sentence? Right. I guess Simon is ready. Simon, are you ready to share your sentence? Hello, Simon. Yes. Very good. I guess your sentence is very realistic, Simon, huh? Now, how many uh, missed uh, tasks would you accomplish today? How many, Simon? I guess when I check the Google Classroom, I guess there are two, two class works that you failed to accomplish. Yeah, two. So therefore, Simon, please accomplish it now. Thank you very much. Simon, please call the next one. By saying, please be the next. All right, I like how realistic also your sentence, Daniel. Good job. Please call the next one, Daniel. All right, thank you. All right, thank you very much, Chris Lynn. Please call another one, they saying, please be the next. Thank you, Angelica. Please unmute your microphone, Angelica. Ah, okay, so Angelica is still constructing her sentence. Chris Lynn, would you mind calling another one? Okay, thank you, Daphne. Go ahead, Daphne. All right, nice one. It seems like you used most of the words today. Huh? Good job, Daphne. Please call another one, Daphne. Go ahead, Daphne. All right. Thank you. Let's have Hanilin. Hanilin, go ahead. All right. I do agree with that, Hanilin. Good job. Call the last one, Hanilin. Okay, go ahead, Jofferson. All right, very good, Jofferson. I guess just Ariana would like to share his sentence as well. Am I right, Jazz? Is it Jazz or Jaren? Okay, go ahead, Jazz. All right. Thank you very much, Jess, for sharing your sentence about the earthquake. Nice one, children. Thank you very much for your cooperation with our VBA for today. So next, now since this is our first lesson for this third quarter, it's but fitting that we have a simple review of the things that we discussed last quarter, which has something to do with learning about the, the challenges that we had encountered and some social issues, right? But don't worry, children, because third quarter is just, it's, it's just 
a continuation of some of the social issues that we need to ca tackle for today. Is that clear? Now, let me start by asking you this question. Have you experienced being judged by someone already? Raise your hand if yes. Have you experienced being judged by someone? When you speak of the word judge, I don't mean of the, the case or court whatsoever. Huh? I mean someone who had preempted already or gave some impressions about you or some people who would say something and being judgmental against you, something like that. So there are six or five who were judged already. Clarence J, would you mind sharing that experience? All right. I like your uh, what you had mentioned. Huh? It gave us an insight about uh, encountering people who are very judgmental. Ju being judgmental could be equivalent to being misunderstood, something like that. So those judgmental people would always misunder would always misunderstand someone, right? Thank you, Clarence. How about you? Uh, did you raise your hand? Uh, Daniel, Daniel Aquino. Oh yeah, would you mind sharing an experience in which you were judged already by a judgmental person? All right. So therefore, uh, you would practice the culture, uh, the way of ignoring that person, no, as if you don't care about him or her. After all, he is not the one who gives you everything, no. Thank you very much for th thank you very much for that sharing, that, Daniel. And I guess you're very much familiar about it. One of it bulaga segment, right? And I believe you're watching it right now. Are you familiar with this about judgmental? Raise your hand if yes. All right. Yeah, I guess at this moment, no, you are watching it Bulaga, and then uh, there's one segment in which I guess it's already done, that bowel judgmental. And based on your idea, bowel judgmental has something to do with a contestant who would choose the right answers from the persons, in, from five or seven persons in front of him, and then he would base his answer he would uh, base his answer on the looks or on the way on how the person speaks, right? Now, bowel judgmental segment also opened our eyes of some people who are totally judgmental and would ask us to at least believe on the things that they are saying, right? So that's why let's play, let's try to play this game, right? Let's have a very simple game at this moment. Of course, all of you will be the judge. Is that clear? Though in the title of the segment is Bowel Judgmental, you're not allowed to be judgmental. But let's find out how would you be able to answer this. Is that clear? So I'll be showing to you some seven pictures of well-known celebrities. And I know you know them very well. Is that clear? So let's start the first one. I guess you're familiar with her. Raise hand if you're familiar with Jolina Magdangal. Yeah. What's her show in Channel 2? That Mamshi Mamshi. Umagang kaganda. Am I right? Uh, anyway, I forgot. <laughs> ah, maganda buhay. Sorry, umagang kaganda. <laughs> it's a different pa. Thank you. Next, Marvin Agustin. Familiar with him? Yeah, definitely. Nowadays, is popular with his Cochinillo. Uh, of course, everyone knows Piolo Pascual, right? Reason if you know him. Oh, good. How about Lisa Soberano or Liza Soberano whatsoever? Yeah, of course. How about Andre Brillantes? Am I right? She's Andre Brillantes, right, Danielle? Yeah, thank you. So Andre Brillantes. Next. Oh, <laughs> Bridget Velasquez. Of course, you know her. Raysan, if you know her. That's Asia Songbird. And last one, Angelica Panganiban. Familiar? Oh, good. Now, of course... Uh, isn't it that before the segment starts, the host would ask 
the contestant, the question, right? In your own idea, let me have... Uh, can I hear the voice of Bijan Carl Pinyamante? Bijan Carl, you're with us. Bijan Carl. What do you think is the question based on the list of personalities or celebrities that you could see in your screen? What do you think would be my question to you? Any idea, Bijan Carl? All right, so who is the most popular? Okay, that could be one. Thank you. You have an idea about that, Bijan Carl. How about you, Christian Allen Maliksi? What do you think is the question? Wow, who is the singer? Oh, yeah, I guess there are two or three singers that you can see there. I don't know with Andre Brillantes if she, if she sings, right? Okay, here is now the question. Of course, you have to choose three Person. Who amongst them is not working on GMA? Ava, Joe Ferson, I guess you are a mind reader, huh? Okay, let's try to find out the question. Who became a kapuso and kapamilya among them? So at this point, I want you to, to uh, post at least three, three names in the chat pane, children. Post your answer in your chat pane. I want you to choose at least three names among them. Is that clear? Who among them became a kapuso and kapamilya? Maybe at first they are kapuso, then turn oh, it, it, it uh, as years go by, they became kapamilya or vice versa. From kapamilya to kapuso. So I need three names. Three names. So for Clarence, it's Regine, Piolo, and Jolina. For Jofferson, Jolina, Regine, and Piolo. Angelica, Regine, Angelica, Jolina. <laughs> uh -huh. Andrea, Marvin, and Regine. Really, Andrea Brillantes. Regine, Marvin, Jolina. Uh, okay, may nauna sa akin. It's fine, Jofferson. Mar Regine, Marvin, Angelica. Uh -huh. Jolina, Regine, Marvin. Uh -huh. It seems like some of you would really watch their shows. Uh -huh. Regine, Jolina, Marvin. Regine, Angelica, Marvin. Oh, different combinations. Uh. So, see, let's find out now your answer. The first is it seems like all of you would have a common answer about Jolina Magdangal. No? So, let's start with Jolina. Is Jolina a kapuso and kapamilya? Or. Ha did she become a kapuso and kapamilya? The answer is correct. So she is a former kapamilya. Actually, she started as kapamilya. Then it turned out that she transferred in kapuso in Jimmy 7. Then after 10 years or more than 10 years, she went back to kapamilya. Okay. So most of you are correct about that, Jolina. Next, how about Angelica Panganiban? Aha, Angelica Panganiban had never become a kapuso. She's a solid kapamilya. She started her career as a child actress, right? In uh, in the movie Princess Sara, in which the main character was Camille Prats. I don't know if you know that, but try watching it in YouTube. Next is Liza Soberan. Let's have Liza Soberan. Am I right? <laughs> I hope my effects are right. So... Is Liza Soberano a kapamilya and kapuso? And of course, everyone knows that, right? She is a solid kapamilya. How about Regine? I'm not sure if Regine or Andre would be the next one. So let's find out the next one. Is it is Regine? Of course, I guess all of you answered Regine. No, everyone knows that Regine had lots of shows in Jamie 7. It turned out she became a kapamilya before the pandemic strikes, uh, strikes, right? So it's Regine, of course. Next, how about Andrea Brillantes? Some of you answered Andrea Brillantes, eh, no? There are some who answered Andrea Brillantes. Also, for Shalani, got two correct answers. Shalani, Ja, Simon, and... Who else? So far, two correct answers. Ah. Let's find out. How about Andre Brillantes? Of course, everyone knows about that, right? Andrea 
had never become a kapuso. I guess she's a solid kapuso. She started her career as a kapamilya. And you know that, right? Uh, there are two persons left, Marvin and Piolo. So the correct answer is... And then some of you answered Piolo, some answered Marvin. The correct answer is Marvin Agustin. Yan. Kambal, correct siya lang ni Kambal Karibal with Marvin Agustin. But actually, Marvin Agustin started his career in, in ABS-CBN. Uh, his love team is Julina Magdangal. And I guess there are some rumors that Marvin and Julina became... Or had had been in a relationship before back when they were in back when they were a teenager but of course they, their relationship did not work after all marvin agustin became a kapamilya for so many years and then there had been an offer in in jamie seven so he became an actor there and right now i'm not sure if he's still acting or doing some acting thing okay now there are some of you who got it right, Jas Arellano. Let me ask you, Jas Arellano, Regine, Marvin, and Julina. Where did? Let me ask you, Jas Arellano, about this. What had been your basis in choosing your answer, Jas? How did you get it right? How did you get it right? So you saw them in the television in your eyes, right? You saw them performing in the television. So that gave you idea that they're really the Kapuso and Kapamilya. How about you, Simon? Your answer is correct, Simon. What had been the basis of your answer? Right, so you really you're watching the television and you remember them, right? Good. How about you, Chrislyn? Je Regine, Jelena, and Marvin. How about you, Chrislyn? What had been your basis in choosing them, Chrislyn? Okay, I guess Chrislyn has problems with her internet right now, but I guess she has the same answer as. Simon and Jazz, that you were able to find out the answer because you remember them uh, in some television shows and you're watching them on the television. Am I right? So that's it. I guess you have the same uh, notion as that. And now, why did they ask you to do this, children? Oh, yeah, someone's raised. Yes, Jofferson. Any idea, Jofferson? How about you, Jofferson? All right, you define their characteristics. Why do you say so, Iho? How, uh, what do you think is the characteristics of a kap kapuso and a kapamilya that had been present to the three uh, celebrities? All right, Hi history. I like your answer, huh? Yeah, thank you, Joe Ferson. So history. So events that happened in the past. So that had been your basis in choosing your answer. And that is a very good idea or very good answer. Because nowadays children, misinformation and disinformation about something had been very predominant. And I believe you're very much aware about that, right? That lots of fake news were spread all over the social media. And of course, the most vulnerable, vulnerable people are the netizens. And I believe most of you would you really use your social media, especially talking about politics. Yeah, politics is very toxic nowadays, right? Now that on, in May, we will have be having our national elections and it will be very toxic. And I agree with you, Jefferson. So please don't add with that toxicity, children. Huh? Just uh, let it be and let it go. No. <laughs> now, why did I ask that particular question or why did I do this kind of activity to your children? It's because for today, our discussion has something to do with differentiating biases and prejudices. Is that clear? As what we all know, children, whenever we are being judged and whenever we are judging someone, we tend to base them on biases and our prejudices. And aside from that, good thing that you answered that you base them 
on history or the things that happened in the past. And that's a very good notion or basis because in that way, you will be able to defend your idea because you have a source. Is that credible source? And I guess the most credible source that you could share a while ago would be your first-hand experience about them watching or performing on the television and that is the thing that we'll be discussing for today thus at the end of today's lesson i expect you should be able to first make judgment based on given scenarios differentiate biases from prejudices through examples weigh information to make decisions because remember children whenever we're making decisions most of the time our biases and prejudices would really affect uh, our results and last one, provide ways on how to minimize or avoid bias and prejudice. I guess you're very much familiar about the term bias, most especially for the K-pop fanatics here. Am I right? Raise hand if you're familiar about that. Because my niece would always say, Ay, my bias is Junko, something like that in BTS, or my bias is something like that. So the thing is, favoritism, I like your answer. So I guess Marvin has an idea about bias already. In relation with favoritism, correct, Clarence J, favorites as well. Good. But let's find out if that favoritism or favorite favorite thing would be bad or good. Is that clear? So let's have this activity. Still remember this one, most especially the ones who answered the exercise. Raise hand if you watch this video clip, the one that I gave last week, right? I posted this video clip last week. So Simon, Clarence, Jazz, and the rest of the gang, Bijan Kai, Jinky. So more than 10 had watched. And I, I believe 75% of the total number of students in Copper watched this video clip because uh, when I checked the Google form, there are more students, more than 75% who answered this question, what are your insights about this video? This video is a 1956 high school exchange students debate on prejudice. There are four countries, the Philippines, Japan, United Kingdom, and Indonesia, right? So let me ask some of you about this one. Jofferson, what are your insights about this video after you had watched it? Just imagine 1956. We are not yet born during this time. We're just, what is this? Uh, we're just angels, right? <laughs> so Jofferson, what are your insights about this video? Hey, I like your answer, huh? You have to be very contradicting, right? America would always say that we're the land of the free and home of the brave. But what happened, right? It seems like they are the uh, country with lots of uh, racism incidents. And so as with some of the participants, they would also share some of the uh, their experiences about racism. Now, here are some of the answers that uh, answers from your classmate with the question, what makes the video interesting? Is that clear? First one is Angel Mark. Angel Mark, are you here? Angel Mark Tesoro. I guess it's not around. Angel Mark. Yeah, I guess it's not around. According to him, what makes their topic interesting is hearing everyone's opinion about prejudice for, for them and asking them what they know or what is their knowledge about prejudice. How about Kea Andrea? Is Kea Andrea here? Kea? Yeah, Kea Andrea, please read your answer. Andrea, Okura, please read your answer. Thank you, Kea. Yeah. So about prejudice, right? About prejudice. How about Maria? I know. Maria Hippolyte, according to her a while ago, she has problems with her microphone. So let me just read her answer. How they deliver their response well, and I learn more about prejudice issues and how they go through it. And I, I really like their confidence. Yeah, I guess you would also agree with that, right? Just imagine, you know, they're... They're just teenagers like you. 
gets. They're just teenagers like you, 15, 14, 16 years old. But see children, their confidence in speaking and sharing their insights. Most especially the Filipino person, the Filipino representative, right? Do you agree with me that he's so intelligent? Yeah. Uh, what's his name again? I, I remember his surname is Contreras, right? <laughs> Next, Clarence. Please read your answer, Clarence. Right. Thank you, Jake. Thank you for sharing your answer. Uh, these are some of the answers from your classmates. No, if I would be posting all your answers, of course, we would not have enough time for it. I just, I just choose the, uh, the first four who posted their answers. But anyway, uh, what, what is common among their answers and your answers as well in the Google form would be all about racism, prejudice, and enlightenment on the things that we have to learn about prejudice and how to avoid them you see children it's 1956 right i guess it's more than 70 years ago if my mathematics right or going to 70 years ago yeah if my, if my math is right let me check first but see children the issue about prejudice and racism still uh predominant nowadays though it happened during the time in which there would be no social media, there, there had been no cell phones yet, internet is not yet evident, but now since we are in the new technology, definitely prejudice, bias, and some racism thing are still evident. See? Now, let's have a very simple pretest. Is that clear? Let's try to identify about the difference between bias and prejudice based on the following situations. Is that clear? So I want you to write B for bias and P for prejudice if the following situations correspond to that. Is that clear? Again, identify the following situations or determine whether the following situations show bias or prejudice. Write B for bias and P for prejudice. Is that clear? So number one, not hiring someone because of their age or gender. What do you think is this? Bias or prejudice? Post your answer in chat pane. Okay. So I guess majority answered prejudice. The correct answer is bias. Yeah, perhaps. But I, will do, I would also agree that it's also prejudice. Is that clear? So next number two, assuming someone is gay because of the way he acts. Is it bias or prejudice? So it's for prejudice, correct? It's prejudice. Number three, bullying and discriminating someone with disability. Bullying and discriminating someone with disability. And I guess majority answered prejudice. So correct, it's prejudice. Okay. But actually, number one could be classified as bias as well, children. Is that, later, you will find out why number one is bias. Number four, accepting exclusive membership of clubs where certain people are not allowed. Bias or prejudice? Okay. It's letter B, bias. Okay. And number five, posting negative comments in social media about the economic status of a family. Is it bias or prejudice? Okay, I guess ma majority answered prejudice. The correct answer is prejudice as well. So I guess most of you got four over five. Some got five over five and three over five. So at this point, let's try. This is just a pretest, children, to determine your background knowledge about bias and prejudice. Let's have this activity too. I have your comic strip, right? Please read. Uh, I guess just read it with your in with your eyes only. This is a conversation of two persons, right? It's up to you determine their gender, huh? But both. Yeah, both said, you don't look like me. Then both also said, or talk like me, or act, or think, or vote, or worship like me. 
I don't trust you. I hate you. Both of them said that. And then, in their mind, it's common ground. Now, let me ask you, how will you judge or what have you noticed with the dialogue in this comic strip or perhaps in the overall comic strip? What have you noticed about this in relation to bias and prejudice? Anyone? What have you noticed about them, about the two persons speaking? Can you have Danielle? Danielle, please share. You said it. What do you mean by that? How did you say that they have the same instinct? Same personality, John Aaron. Would you mind sharing that? How did you say that they are? They have the same personality. John Aaron Imperial. Ah, you don't have any microphone. Yeah, it's fine. They both are... <laughs> My God, the agile person. Clarence posted, they're stereotyping each other because of how they act and look. So I do agree with you about that, Clarence. Both are toxic, according to Jaren. <laughs> according to Joe Person, both are jerks. Yeah. As you can see, children, I guess all of you would agree that both... Both of them say the same expression, same sentences, same words, right? They, that they both hate, hate each other because why do you think they both they hate each other? Why do you think they hate each other? Jaren, aside from both of them are quite toxic, why do you think they hate each other? Jaren? Or Jack? Ah, you're still thinking. Clarence, would you mind elaborating your answer, impression? Why do you think they hate each other, Clarence? Do you think their impression are the same or different? In what way, Clarence? All right. Thank you, Clarence. Actually, you're correct. Your answer is correct. Both have the same impression about, about each other, right? But that same impression triggered them to be different. Since they are different, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, since they are different, they, since they are different and they, they, they don't share the same idea or the same, same religion, perhaps, as what you have meant, as what both of them had mentioned, they don't worship like me. In short, they have different religion and they have different way on how to speak and they have different looks. So therefore, they hate, hate each other. And that's a very bad idea. Is that clear? Because that leads us to the idea of biases and prejudice. Is that clear? That even though that person is not the same as you, of course, or that person doesn't speak like you, that like the way on how you speak, you would, you would hit that person right away. See, children, both have the same problems, but they have a different point of view about something. And that makes them very toxic, as what Jaren had mentioned. Is that clear? Because of this situation, this could lead to biases and prejudice. And that's the thing that we have to keep in mind, children. For today, let's learn about prejudice and bias. Is that clear? Let's define first prejudice. What is prejudice? Please raise hand if you want to read. I would like to read this one. No one, so I'll be the one to call. Can I hear the voice of B. John Card, Peñamante? What is prejudice?
prejudiced. Thank you, Bijan Carl. Now, uh, to simplify children, means we're prejudice, a preconceived opinion or impression about someone based on your background, based on your age, gender, sexuality, or nationality, or religion. Is that clear? And most of the time, we tend to commit this one, right? So I believe that whenever I ask you what is, what is your idea about Ilocanos and what's your idea about Bisaya or idea about the Muslims, definitely we do have our own preconceived opinion about them. Is that clear? Or we do have our own impressions about them. Uh, and that's a, that's not a good, perhaps, that's not a good notion because that would lead to discrimination. Yes, children? For example, our, our preconceived opinion, this is just an example. I don't mean to offend children. Huh? I don't mean to offend. But there, uh, if someone would ask, uh, where do you live? I live in Ilocos Norte, for example. Ah, you're in Ilocano, so therefore you are Kuripot or... Uh, was that or was that I forgot already the English for Koripot but anyway uh, am I right it's Nigard whatever no not Nigard I forgot already my god mental block but anyway so that could be your impression right but if, if you would be uh, meeting an Ilocano, you would be surprised that they're the, the most generous people in the world. Something like that, right? Another impression, if you are a waray, that means you are brave, you are courageous, right? But of course, and then if you would go to Mindanao, for example, isn't it that our impression about Mindanao is that there are some terrorists, there are some rebellion, whatsoever, right? But if you would be going there, you would be surprised that it's peaceful, so see, children, that is what we call prejudice. And I guess someone's raising his hand. Who's that person? Anything to say? Anything to share? Okay. Let's not go, uh, go to other places. Let's try to focus our attention in our school. For example, back during the face-to-face -face, uh, classes, I guess you were grade 7 during that time, isn't it that you do have... Uh, impressions about different sections, right? For example, ah, this section is so behave. I like to meet the people there. Ah, this section has lots of uh, was that stubborn students, something like that, right? So I guess in that way, you already have this kind of prejudice among them. So see, children, prejudice is everywhere, and it could be it it could target a group of people or anyone. Is that clear? So that's prejudice. Now, I, here are some examples of prejudice. Uh, please read. Can I hear the voice of Angelica Tablan? Please read. What are the examples of prejudice? Angelica, are you still with us? Okay, I guess she's, she's, ex, she's experiencing problems with her internet. How about Jamaica? Jamaica Carrera, please read. What are the examples of prejudice? Jamaica, are you still with us? Okay, Daniel Aquino, please read the examples of prejudice. Right. Are you familiar with that, Daniel? Have you watched a movie already in which black Americans are being discriminated? Many times, right? Aside from that, have you watched a movie already in which Muslims are treated as terrorists? Yeah. So see, children, that's prejudice and that's very bad. Nowadays, there had been war in, the, in Ukraine, right? 
re- Ukraine versus Russia, and we all know that re- the reason about that. But there are two different opinions about that, and that will lead to, of course, prejudice and biases. And see, children, the word, the last word in that slide, in this slide, discriminate. So prejudice could lead to discrimination as well. Is that clear? Now, there are certain types of or common types of prejudice. We have racism, of course, about your race, race or nationality, discriminating you because of your race, nationality, or anyone. Just like Filipinos, right? Filipinos are being discriminated abroad because the prejudice among the Filipinos would be uh, based on the people in other countries. They thought that Filipinos are slaves, something like that, no? They said that Philippines is the land of slaves, and that's a very bad prejudice. Sexism, discriminating because you are a member of LGBT or you are a woman, something like that. Since you are a woman, you're being discriminated. You're not giving opportunities because you are a woman or a member of LGBT, something like that. Or uh, if you are a man, of course, you're not being given opportunity just the same as the lady, something like that. Classism, right? And then ageism and then religion. So these are some common types of prejudice. And children, as based on this picture, as you can see, children, this is a major sample of prejudice. That if you are not part of this group, definitely you are being discriminated. And I guess you're very much familiar about the modern term for discrimination. Cancel culture. Raise any fear from your but cancel culture. Yeah, Jofferson Chan, what is your impression about cancel culture? Jofferson? Yeah, thank you, Jofferson. I guess you could easily read with cancel culture. Yeah, yes. But according to Merriam Webster and Pop Diction Pop Culture Dictionary, the pre- Cancel culture is a practice or tendency of engaging in mass canceling as a way of expressing disapproval and exerting social pressure. Just like the picture that you can see, if this red guy is not part of the white guys, definitely is being isolated and being canceled. Is that clear? Actually, cancel culture is no longer new to us because uh, it's just a term used to describe a group of people who would discriminate and cancel someone because you have different views and opinion and i guess you're very much familiar about that nowadays right and i guess you're very much familiar about that because uh if you're for example dds versus the lawan now we have bbm we have pink lawan we have the red versus pink right most of the time if you're if you would say something against the pink group the pink group would cancel you Or if you would say something about the red group, they would cancel you already. So that's a very bad impression about nowadays. It's very toxic, right? And I hope you're not part of that cancel culture thing. Now, I I will let you watch a particular video clip, a very simple video clip that would show transfer student. Yeah, I do agree with that, Daniel. So there are some transfer students. What do you mean transfer? Do we have any transfer today, Daniel? Oh yeah, so he, if that new student is somewhat different from you or from a group of people, that new student might be cancelled, right? So anyway, but at least it depends upon your camaraderie naman and it depends upon how you're going to relate with them. Now, let me share to you a very simple video clip that will show about gender equality. And before I end the video, I will post it maybe... Uh, before it ends, and I, I'll be asking you, what do you think would happen next, or what would be the ending of the video clip? Is that clear? So, are you ready to watch a video clip? Raise hand if you're ready. No one is ready. Yeah, very good. Many are ready. So, let's watch a simple video clip. By the way, it's not American. Anyway, it has subtitle naman.
I guess I could already pause in that part, right? Now, let me ask you, children, what had been the situation in the first part of the video? There are? Anyone? Raise hand. There were two kids, right? A boy and a girl. And then they were asked to what? To place the blue and pink balls in its proper container. And then as a reward, they were given sweets. Am I right? A bunch of ice cream, some chocolates, and whatsoever. And what have you noticed? Did they have equal rewards, Marvin? Marvin, did they receive equal reward? An equal, correct, Marvin? They received an equal reward. Marvin, let me ask you, who received the big reward, or perhaps who received more sweets or chocolates? The boy and the one who received fewer or less. Uh, Sweets would be the girl, right? Now, what do you think would happen next? Any idea? When the when the boys receive a huge amount of sweets and the girls receive fewer or less sweets or rewards, what do you think would happen next? Anyone? Raise hand. Bijan Carl, the boy will give sweets to the girl. Uh -huh. So I guess you don't want to speak now. You just want to post your answer. <laughs> okay, no problem. Kian Rendish, the boy may share his sweets to make it even. Uh -huh. For Seiya, you believe that they would share their rewards. For Daniel, the boy would share his to hers. Okay. So let me ask you, Daniel, why do you think the boy would share his sweets to the girl? Okay, thank you, Daniel. So, see, let's try to finish the video. You see, children, what had been their reaction upon seeing their reward? What had been their reaction? They were confused, correct, Kian? You think they are confused about it? Why do you think they are confused, Simon? Bijan Carl also agree. Why do you think they are confused about that? Because... Simon. Okay, I guess you have an idea about that. Maybe you're still thinking of your answers, or maybe they are confused for some reason. So let's continue watching.
Okay, do you like the video, children? Raise hand if you like it. Okay, so I guess all of you are correct with the, the ending of the video clip in which they realize that it's so unfair. Both did the same job, but the rewards are unfair, right? They did the same job, but the prices are not equal. Exactly. Uh, who said that? Jaren, correct. And they realized that. See, children, when you know something about it, definitely you would do you would find ways on how to make everything equal and fair to everyone. So that's the thing that I'm telling about bias and prejudice, that we should not be overpowered with that kind of impression. We know what's fair and equal to everyone, and that's the thing that we have to practice all the time. Daniel said they know it was unfair. The boys know what the girls do for working hard. So they decided to have equal sweets. Correct, children. So that's the thing that you have to keep in mind all the time. If you know that the that, that thing is unfair or unequal, you could make things fair and equal. The answers would always lie in your hands. Is that clear? So next, let's have... Bias. What is bias? Can you hear the voice of uh, Kian Rendish? Please read. Kian. Ah, your mic is not working. Okay, do understand. How about Marvin Reyes? Please read. Thank you, Marvin. So remember that children, bias is bias in favor of or against. So there are two types of bias. Either you are biased for or biased against something. Is that clear? And I guess a while ago when I asked you about that, you made mention of favoritism. And that means it is biased for. Gets? You agree with that. Bias against, that is quite contradicting to that person. Is that clear? So let me share to you some sample bias. Please read Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel, please read. Are you still with us, Juan Miguel? Hello, Juan Miguel. Could you hear us? Please read. Okay, thank you very much, Juan Miguel, for reading the examples of bias. So keep in mind, children, how